Hey guys, if you are here because you were interested in how I did my engagement photo shoot look from my Instagram, then thank you so much for coming back. Again, my name is Olivia and I just like to play with makeup. <laughs> um, the only difference between this look and kind of the end look is my lip shade. I forgot to record this intro and I already switched out my lipstick. Um, it was kind of a, a tedious task getting off that shade um, and that it was a liquid lipstick so it was just a little more tedious than r regular lipstick. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you are interested in how I got this look with a red lip, keep on watching. Alright guys, so as you see I have some problem areas here. I got this guy like at the beginning of the week and I was trying to wait till the weekend so it could go down to film another video. But then all these popped up and I was like, oh, whatever, this is real life. So all I have on my face right now is my skincare. So I'm going to start off with my Oma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Foundation. I'm in shade Honey Honey T3N. Um, I absolutely love this foundation. It's probably my favorite foundation right now out of all the ones I have. <laughs> and you do have to shake it, but I feel like after using it the first time, because it was super liquidy, after using it the first time, like, it's not as liquidy anymore. It comes out thick. So I'm just putting one pump, and I'm going to use my finger and just kind of dab it everywhere on my face. I'm sorry if you hear my family in the background there very loud i'm gonna use my sonia kashuk beauty sponge if y'all don't know i love this thing i have like four of them as a backup but do you see how beautiful that, that just covers up all my little blemishes except for this one. Oh, that one's been a real pain in the rear end the only thing about wearing foundation that i don't care for is that it covers up my moles like it leaves my moles feeling or looking like little gray spots I feel like by using a sponge I'm able to press the product in and make it more skin like and not all the time but with a brush I feel like it can look I don't know like too much especially with full coverage foundations which I do feel like this is. I feel like this is a medium to full coverage. I definitely think you can build this foundation up, but I like it as a medium coverage. I'm just gonna get a little bit more and cover up these spots some more. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer in shade Honey Honey T2. I absolutely love this brand. I'm not doing a June Favorites video, but if I had, this would be on it. I think that this brand is, like, really good. I absolutely love this concealer. I find it's one of the only concealers that doesn't crease as much, if at all, on me. Um, so I, I really like it. <laughs> I'm just going to use the tip of my beauty sponge and start blending it out. Do you see how, like, I've got wrinkles there. I try really hard not to, but I mean, we all age. And I do bring my concealer down into like that triangle that I know nobody does anymore. I know a lot of people do anymore, but I do. <laughs> so I don't typically bake my concealer, but because I was doing my makeup for a photo shoot, I did just to kind of blur out my under eye area so i'm using the kat von d um setting powder i've had it for so long just trying to use it up but 
I actually took out the little sifty thing so I could just dip my sponge in there. Okay, so while I let that sit, I know I look crazy. I'm going to do my eyebrows and then we will get into the eyeshadow. If y'all have been here for a while since I've started or if you're new, um, I love the benefit of precisely my brow eyebrow pencil. <laughs> um, it is my favorite. And I use shade six. I haven't really ventured out with like different brands of eyebrow pencils no reason really i just i mean i stick with what i like and this works for me there hasn't been anything other than the gucci eyebrow 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 pencil um i saw vicky j using it in a couple of her videos and i'm just like man maybe i should try it Look, pretty much if Vicky J suggests anything, I basically, I basically do it. And I'm not too precise with my brows. I just, I just do it to fill in some spots. As you can see, like I've got like splotchy eyebrows. So I just use an eyebrow pencil to fill in some of those bald spots. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty good for me. Um, again, I'm not one to like do like a perfect brow. I just do my brows to fill them in since I have splotchy baldy brows. <laughs> so I use a combination of the Marc Jacobs Fantasine palette and the Pat McGrath Divine Rose One palette. I got little scuffs when I got it from the mail. Anyways, so I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. This stuff is really good. It is pricey, but look, I don't ever use eye primers because I don't, I feel like I can get the same effect with my concealer, but I do feel like there's a difference with this eye primer. Like I don't crease at all, which is my problem. It's not like sticky, like it dries down pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't leave my eyeshadow looking patchy. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Fantasy shade from the Fantasy palette with my BK Beauty 201 brush. I'm gonna pick some of that shade up and then I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner and then blend that and bring that in. And I'm just gonna kind of buff that out. Same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I just, just like that. Next, I'm gonna go in with Rose Dusk from the Divine Rose One palette with my Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. And I'm gonna put that on the edge of my outer crease. You see that there? It's so beautiful, my goodness. This palette, I haven't done a full video with the Divine Rose One palette quite yet, but I just feel like there's so many people who've done them and I don't know if I'm really bringing anything to the table, anything different. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm only blending enough to get them to effortless, effortless, effortlessly, my Lord, blend together. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna get Refined Gold, which is this shade right here. 
and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Using the Sonia G Soft Blender Brush, I'm gonna pick up Refined Gold 002. So I just wanna show you all the difference between using a brush and using my finger. So I've just applied some with the brush. I'm gonna go in with my finger and apply that. Do you see how much more product sticks? And I know there's like a harsh line. I'm gonna fix that here in a bit between the shades, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So what I like to do is I like to put my finger down and then kind of drag, not just kind of go like this to make sure that the product is on there. I'm not gonna flake off. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go back in with my Sonia G um, classic, crease, classic crease brush and pick up some more of the Rose Dusk shade and then just kind of lightly blend that together. Same thing on the other side. And it just creates this really nice gradient between the shades. Now I'm just gonna kind of buff them all together there in that crease. And now just to give it a little bit more depth, just a smidge, I'm gonna go in with Sable Bronze using the Classic Crease Blush, Classic Crease Brush just pick up a little bit of product and then just on the outer edge apply that it's just a smidge but that's just to give it just a little bit more depth alrighty and really that's it for the eyes next I'm gonna curl my lashes and I use the Shiseido eyelash curler. I'm just gonna curl them before I do my liner. I like to leave the curler on there for like 30 to 45 seconds because my lashes are so short that I really try to give it the best chance of curling my lashes. I like to use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner with the micro tip. I don't like a very heavy line. I like it to be quite thin. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know how to do a cat eye, so I always do the same eyeliner look. very thin line. I'm gonna go in with, I know I've had it for so long, the Chanel, La Volume de Chanel uh, mascara. I love this mascara. I've actually purchased the full size several times, but this came in one of my orders um, a few months ago and I hadn't used it, so I've been using it recently. And oh, I love this mascara so much. I don't need it, it's so expensive, but I do really like this mascara. Same thing with the other eye. So now that I've done both eyes, I'm just gonna do um, mascara on my bottom lashes because I forgot. 
So this is the exact eye look that I wore in the photo on my Instagram that I asked if anybody was interested in how I did this, or well, yeah, how I did this look for my engagement photos. However, it was only because I didn't have my lashes that day. I was really sad because I have really short lashes, but I was just gonna, you know, do with it with what I had, you know, make it work. But since I am at home and I have my lashes, I will be applying some lashes. I don't actually know what shape these are or what number or anything like that, but they're wispies. I always have such a hard time putting lashes on. It's like an artwork that I'm just not gifted in. That'll have to do. <laughs> Let's put the other one on. I went ahead and added some powder to my smile lines because I forgot to do that. <laughs> we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, so full disclosure, I had already applied this eye lash, but I like, I have a really hard time with my left eye and I put it way too far this way, so I have like a tail. So there's a lot of glue, oh, my bad. So while that's drying, I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 102 brush and just dust off all of this powder. I completely forgot to add iridescent pink to my inner corner. So I'm going to add this shade right here, iridescent pink, to my inner corner using the Sonia G Flat Definer Brush. I totally nicked, I nicked it with my brush. Bah! Same thing on the other side. I knew I was missing something. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to apply my Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer with the Clinique. I actually don't know what brush this is, but I'm gonna go in with this brush. Just gonna swirl it around and Apply here. I don't even know if you can tell that I'm wearing this when I am wearing it, but I still use it. <laughs> I feel like I use this blush all the time, but it really is like my absolute favorite. I'm going to use the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Blush. I love this blush. Well, please don't break. Along with my Chanel Kabuki brush. Again, it's my favorite brush to apply blush. It's my favorite blush. No, it's my favorite brush to apply blush. <laughs> so I'm just dabbing that on. And I do put blush on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. Ugh, I hate these pimples. I'm not going in with highlighter just because I didn't do it in my photo and because, you know, I don't want to highlight those things on my face. All right, so since I forgot to apply some shadow to my lower lash line, I'm just going to use my... Uh, BK Beauty 204 brush, pick up a little bit of Sable Bronze, this shade again, and apply to my lower lash line. I 
For my lips for that photo, um, for my engagement photo shoot, I actually used Fenty Beauty's Uncentered Liquid Lipstick. This is such a beautiful shade and such a beautiful consistency. I am going to put some chapstick real quick. And then what I like to do, just because to me so much product comes out, I like to scrape the applicator. I'll use my brush and then I will apply. Liquid lipstick is so difficult for me to apply. All right, guys, this is the complete look. I did not put the dress back on just because it is a special dress and I have it hanging. Um, I don't want it to get wrinkled or anything. So I have it hanging up and I didn't do my hair just because if you don't know, I'm super lazy with my hair. If you don't know, I don't do much with my hair. My hair right now is just in a clip. Um, I, I did my, I curled my hair that day because it was engagement photos. So, um, but yeah, these are the exact same earrings. I'm not wearing the necklace, but the necklace is from an indigenous market called Heart and Hand. I will link her um, store down below, her Instagram down below. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. I really enjoyed doing my makeup for you all. Um, and I really enjoy hearing any feedback, uh, actually a lot more than you would think. I, I like knowing that I'm able to help or not help or get advice from people. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look, guys. I hope to, you know, record more videos soon. And until then, I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.